गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे इज अ वर्ल्ड डाउन सिंड्रोम डे एंड द थीम ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डे टू इज टू कनेक्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव सम टिप्स वॉट प्रेगनेंट वोमेन शुड नो एज यू ऑल नो दैट दिस वॉज पास बाई यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व दैट 21st march will be celebrated all over the world on this particular day the name of this down syndrome goes after a british doctor uh, who coined this particular term in 1866 we are running a mission mission down syndrome in a pregnant patient during the antenatal period now we wish more gynecologists to join hands and extend this noble facility to a larger section of indian society what is our goal our goal is to create awareness among lady doctors among gynecologists among nurses public health workers particularly the grassroots levels and create public awareness about down syndrome they look very cute when they smile but there's a hidden misery of three generations their grandparents their parents and their siblings normally each one of us has 46 chromosomes but in down syndrome there's an extra 21 chromosome so that makes us 47 chromosome that makes them how they look differently and how they learn differently This is the most common chromosomal abnormality seen in newborns and is the commonest cause of severe learning disabilities in children. Down syndrome is an affected child will have a moderate to severe learning disability. They have a low IQ plus they have a physical characteristics. Their face appears flat, they have slanting eyes, they have congenital heart defects in good number of cases hearing loss and eye problems the question is often asked is treatment available for down syndrome the reality is no there is no way to prevent down syndrome or treat it cardiac and gastrointestinal defects can be taken care of by timely surgery low iq cannot be treated they can be trained to do day to day activities How serious is the mental handicap and learning deficits in down syndrome the parents ask the grandparents ask They have mild to moderate IQ of 45 to 48 the children with down syndromes learn to sit walk play they can be trained in toilet and other activities but somehow they lag their peers without down syndrome After getting into adulthood they can do routine household work but require care and attention from elder members and caretakers lifelong as they lack the required skill for independent living what is the usual incidence of down syndrome public wants to ask it is around one birth in every 650 births this extra copy of chromosome 21 dramatically changes how they look and grow differently At age 35 the mother has a risk of down syndrome of 1 in 350 at age 40 she runs the risk of having down syndrome baby in 1 in 100 and at 45 it is 1 in 20 can i have a down syndrome yes in fact it can affect any pregnancy any race and any economic class The incidence of down syndrome rises with increasing maternal age and about 75% babies with down syndromes are born in a younger low risk woman who does not have any history of previous down syndrome and age is also favorable Can I have down's baby even if I don't have any family history of down syndrome The answer is yes Is it possible to test for down syndrome prenatally? Yes, that's a good news. The screening tests are available in both first and the second trimester and the goal is 
not only to pick up aneuploidy and the structural defects and then the option is open to them whether they can want to get pregnancy terminated which can be done up to 24 weeks. Now in first trimer markers are that you get an ultrasound done and a blood test. This is called dual test and it is combined with ultrasound scan which is called NTNB ultrasound for the fetus and this can pick up Down syndrome to the tune of nearly 85 percent. Now there is a specific time when these two tests can be done, dual test. It is between 11 to 13.6 weeks of pregnancy when the crown rim length is between 45 to 84 and I said the detection rate is very good to the tune of 85 percent. The person who is doing an ultrasound cannot afford to be casual. It's a very serious ultrasound screening. Other tests which are combined are nasal bone and one can do an advanced fetal cell maternal circulation testing as well. This particular slide shows the accuracy. The accuracy of a dual test is something like 85 to 91 percent while the success rate of NIPT is to the tune of 99.9 percent. .9%. Now there is a wide variation in practice as far as the screening is concerned throughout the country. You can find there are some people who are just doing an ultrasound, other people are combining NT scan with blood test, and other people are doing an advanced ultrasound and there are people who are doing both advanced ultrasound plus blood test. Now question is if the people who miss to get this particular test up to 13.6 weeks of pregnancy what should be done. There is another test available quadruple test which is done between 14 weeks plus 2 days to 20 weeks. Here the detection rate is 80 percent. Now big question is often asked does negative dual or quadruple test means that my baby does not have Down syndrome? No. Screen negative means that you are at low risk and low risk does not mean no risk. I repeat again, low risk does not mean no risk. NIPT which is a good test available, previously it was very costly, now it is available, it is much much cheaper, everybody can get it done. Amniocentesis and chorion villus biopsy, it is almost replacing it, but if it is positive, it has to be confirmed by amniocentesis. Remember, dual or quadruple tests are only screening tests and we have to always do an amniocentesis for confirmation. Now question is, are these test procedures are risky? No, the miscarriage rate is 1 in 150 to 1 in 300 and it can pick up with the accuracy of 100 percent. Should I get screening done for detecting mental retardation of my child? Whether you get it or done or not, we all know that they have a low IQ, but advances in medical technology and the doctors can help you to detect 4D. What are the defects? What are the deficiency in the child in terms of IQ? What are the additional diseases they have and, and they guide them about the development and delay? Goes without saying that the parental support, grandparent support, sibling support is needed by them throughout life. Best of luck. People who are listening to me must create this awareness and share this particular knowledge which they have got with more and more people. Connect is the theme and you should do the same. Thank you very much.